Uh, Dave Van Horn is with us. He is one of the winningest coaches in SEC history, three-time SEC Coach of the Year. Dave, good morning. Thanks for spending some time with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, so, you know, you have um, – you have skippered some really good vintages of Arkansas baseball in your days there. This has a chance in 2024 as we get ready for opening day to be uh, perhaps, I don't want to put any undue pressure on your current squad, one of your better clubs. Tell us about your team. Well, it starts with pitching. You know, we've got some kids back from last year that gained a lot of experience. You know, Hagen Smith is at the at the top of the rotation and you know, he's done it all for us here. He's been a starter, a reliever, a long, kind of a long reliever, and uh, and a closer. And he's he's pitched some of the biggest innings we've ever had here. I think back to his freshman year, we have like a one-run lead, two-run lead, bases loaded, bottom of the eighth to see who's going to go to the Super Regional at Oklahoma State. And uh, we had older kids in the bullpen, and we went to him. And uh, – he finished it off for us, and we ended up beating North Carolina the next weekend and made it to the College World Series. And so this is a guy that uh, he's been there, done that. And, uh, you know, he just turned 20 in August, and this will be his third year in college. So he'll be 20, still 20 at the draft. He's uh, he's incredible. And then, well, you know, there's more. I'll we'll go through all of them, but we're excited about our, our pitching staff. Hey, hey, Dave, um, before we get back to your club, i got to take you back to 1982 because our paths could have crossed. And it's a tie-in because we were playing an earlier game and Maddie put up a picture of Jim Traber on the board for me to start talking about. I didn't play my rookie ball season pretty much at all. And I know you were in, as Maddie pointed out, Pulaski uh, with the Braves organization. But what do you remember about that 82 year for yourself? But our club, the Bluefield Orioles, managed by Johnny Hart, we boat raced the league because we had some boys who could flat out play, including one Jim Traber. You guys had a great team. That's all I remember. And it seemed like it was an older team. Uh, I remember being in Bluefield one night. And a storm rolled in. You had that really beautiful background. It was almost right. like a mountain behind Centerfield Wall. And this storm rolled in about 30 minutes before game time. And I'm telling you, it rained at least four or five inches in an hour. Our dugout had four to five feet of water in it. We were just hoping to get out of there alive. And we got out of there. And that's the main thing I remembered about Bluefield. But I, re I do remember, yeah, the, uh, the Orioles had a great club that summer. Wasn't that center field wall in Bluefield nothing more Concrete. than cinder block? Or cinder block. Oh, my God. It wasn't just the center field wall. It was the entire wall. Treacherous. Was, was cinder block. Oh, there, there was a few walls like that in the minor leagues back then. And, I mean, it was – you could end your career real quick if you, uh, if you didn't watch out. Hey, Dave, uh, so you're entering your 22nd season there, and I applaud that because in the landscape of sports now and college too, it seems like the grass is always greener somewhere else. People are doing one year here, then going over there, find another place to go. Um, take me through this because 22 years, you, you found a spot you like, and you just set up shop. Yeah, I tell you, you know, I left the University of Nebraska um, – after five years there, my last two years at Nebraska, we went to Omaha. And when, you, when you're in Lincoln and you make it to the World Series, man, they treat you unbelievably well. And uh, it was hard to leave, but this is where I always wanted to be. Coach, I played here, I met my wife here, got married in Fayetteville. I mean, I could go on and on. And, you know, the SECs at the time is what I thought I wanted to do. After I was here a year or two, I thought, man, this is uh, this is pretty difficult. But <laughs> it's been fun. Uh, very fortunate to be able to stay at the same place basically my whole career uh, once we got settled in. You know, family gets to get settled in. Kids get to go to the same school because, you know, you just see so many – coaches moving their families around and that's that's really difficult to to be a part of and my wife put up with me for all those years so i felt like hey this is a spot and uh the fans have been amazing the teams have been great and uh it's uh it's a special place here in fayetteville 
you know, between uh, your baseball community in Fayetteville and the baseball community that's in Little Rock with uh, being a longtime minor league team of the Cardinals, the Arkansas Travelers, the legendary former umpire Bill Valentine, who used to run that team. Uh, I, I think a lot of fans kind of have a misconception that, that Arkansas is football country uh, because of the, the success that program has had. Baseball is a, a very relevant endeavor in Arkansas. So as such, my question for you, Dave, does a lot of your recruiting come in your backyard or are you guys looking around the, the whole map? Well, you know, small population, but number one, we want to get the, the best kids out of the state. You know, we miss on one every now and then, and it's just, you know, credit to those kids for developing maybe a little later, or maybe they just want to go somewhere else. But we, number one is to get the kids in Arkansas. And then, uh, you know, then maybe in a, a, the Boulder State. And then after that, I'm telling you, it's it's all over the place. If you look at our roster, we've got kids. We've got two kids from Hawaii. We get them from all over. You have a lot of kids playing in the big leagues, too, uh, by, our, uh, by our research, 13 Former Razorbacks uh, played uh, in the big leagues last year. That's got to be an immense source of pride for you personally. It is, you know, and the and the great thing about it is those kids, they're appreciative of our program and the and the time here. And we tell kids when we're recruiting them, and then once they get here and we're working out, practicing, we're we're want, we're trying to get you ready for pro ball, but we're getting you ready to fight through the minor leagues. We want you to because you have to be tough to get through the minor leagues to get to the big leagues whether you play two years in the big leagues or 12 you know you in most cases unless you're just a, a super super talent uh you've got to you've got to outwork people and be dedicated and we we try to preach that here a little bit honestly and our kids come back even when they're in the big leagues they come back and work out some all the time uh some for a couple weeks here and there but they come back to our facility and i think they just feel comfortable here and you know, they can, you can, you've got it all here facility-wise. Speaking of facilities, have you ever seen this character rolling around Bomb Walker Stadium? And if so, does he buy a round for everybody? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe more than one round, actually. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, John Daly. You know what? Yeah, John's awesome. He's just a fun guy. I got to tell a quick story. 2015, we're in the Super Regional, game three. We ended up winning it. I don't know how he got on the field and it's like a hundred degrees and he gave me a bear hug and he was soaking wet and I'll never forget it. That's all <laughs> I'm going to say. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know, but he's a good guy and he's a great Arkansas fan and yeah, he's something else. Well, do us a favor because if you ever get heads up notice that he's going to be around, let us know because we might want to make an appearance because I don't think I'd mind meeting that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's on our hit list too. We'd love to get him mind, on our show. I wouldn't mind meeting that. Dave, we appreciate you being on our show for sure uh, and celebrating some of the success you've had past and future. Uh, good luck this year, and, and thanks for taking some time with us. All right, guys, anytime. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Dave. Dave Van Horn joining us from Fayetteville.